Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Windows 10 and elementary OS 6 so let's get started. Open your web browser and then search for elementary OS and then click on the first link. Now click custom and enter the amount as $0 and then you will see the option to download elementary OS. After downloading elementary OS ISO file, you need to search for Rufus and download the Rufus tool to make bootable USB pen drive. After downloading Rufus, you need to insert your pen drive which is at least 8 GB or more. After that, you need to go to the folder where Rufus is downloaded and you need to open Rufus. Select the ISO file which we just downloaded earlier. Now you need to open start and search for system information. And under BIOS type, you will either see UEFI or BIOS slash legacy. If you see UEFI, then you need to select GPT option. And if you see BIOS slash legacy, then you need to select MBR option. After this process is completed, you need to close Rufus and right click on the start menu and click on disk management right click on the largest volume and select shrink volume and then enter the amount of at least 30 GB after that you need to close disk management and restart your computer While your computer is starting up, you need to press BIOS key which is F2 for most laptops to enter BIOS mode. You need to go to security tab and disable secure boot if you haven't already. After that press F10 to save the settings and exit BIOS mode. Then while your computer is starting up, you need to press either F12 or escape key to enter boot menu and select USB option. Now you will boot into the elementary OS live USB. You can choose the first option if you want to try elementary OS before installing and if you want to install elementary OS then choose the third option. Now the elementary OS installer looks more like pop OS installer. Here you need to choose modify partitions. Right click on the free space which we just created earlier and select new. Now give free space of about 512 MB and file type as FAT32 now click right click on the remaining free space and select new now give the file type as ext4 after you are done just click the tick icon and you are done Now select the partition with orange color which we just created and give mount point as slash boot slash EFI. Similarly select the green partition which we just created and format it as root partition which is forward slash. 
now your elementary OS installation will begin and this will take some time so I'll just skip the process now you just need to click restart device and after next restart it will show a grub menu to select your OS now every time you turn on your computer you will see a menu to choose between your OS for now I'm going to select elementary OS after installation it will ask you to do some quick setup just complete the quick setup and you are ready to use elementary OS So that's it for the video guys thank you for watching and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel for more future content like this bye bye